Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Yeah, we just finished the one class and we're starting up the next. So, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. In this class, we're going to be looking at some uh, idioms and we're going to use these idioms in practical conversational ways. We're going to have uh, a lot of fun together, chatting away and uh, learning something at the same time. Okay, that's what it's all about. And that's what I really always try to do with classes is uh, have a good time with everybody and uh, learn something at the same time, okay? So, I'm just getting stuff prepared here for you and looking forward to you guys coming in and having a seat. And once we have our nine students, then we're going to get things started, all right? Be right back with you. All right, there we go. We have Junior. Hey, Junior, how you doing? Hi. Hey, great I'm to fine. Have you. Thank you. Okay, good stuff. Where are you from? Uh, I am from Brazil, from the south of Brazil. From the south of Brazil. Okay. So, is the south hotter than the north? No, it's uh, the south of Brazil is colder than the north. That's nice. That's nice. What's the temperature? Can you hear me fine? I can hear you pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. So, um, how for how long have you been learning English? For how long? Yeah. How long have you been learning English? Uh, I. Studied at uh, an English school here called CCAA. I think there is uh, uh, on the U United States too, but it's called CCLS there. Okay. And I've been studying for four years and a half. For four, good for you. Good for you. Um, so, because you speak quite well, you speak quite well. So, do you know well, what we're going to be you. talking about today? No, I know that it is, that it is uh, an English conversation. Okay, that's right. That's what you're here for. Okay, good. Welcome, everybody. We've got uh, some of the same gang with us. We got Mohammed. We got Martin. Martin, where are you from? Hello, everybody. I'm from Slovakia. I'm sorry, where? Slovakia. Yeah. Okay, great. Nice to have you. I can see you're a tennis fan. I like tennis too. We got Manan. Tennis, I play tennis. Also. Okay, great. Yeah, that's good stuff. We got like Manal. Do you play tennis? Yeah. I like tennis, um, and I try to play as much as I can, but it's not as much as I used to play. I used to play a lot more. Um, <laughs> but it's a good your, sport. Uh, what is your level on uh, tennis? Yeah. Oh, I'm probably not as good as you. <laughs> Although I did play with uh, somebody who was ranked. In the top 300 of the world one time, and he completely destroyed me. <laughs> Let's move along here. Let's go to Julio. How you doing, Julio? Julio Paredes. How you doing? All right, he's doing good. Diana, you're back. That's good. Ala, Adriana, mm -hmm. welcome, welcome, and Manal. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's see. Adriana, Andrea, where are you from? I'm from Argentina. Argentina. Okay, good. Happy to have you with us. So we're going to be talking today. We're going to learn some idioms, and <clears throat> we're going to then use them in conversation. All right. This is a part of uh, part of a series that some of my regular students will be familiar with. Here is the link. I'll put it in. Uh, I'm going to put it in the. I'm going to put it in both chat boxes, okay? But for the class, guys, listen up. For the class, let's all 
use the Google Hangout chat box, okay? It's a little bit uh, a little bit easier of a chat box to use, and it just is for us students or for, for the class here, the nine of us. So let's all <laughs> switch over to that one, and we can use that together, okay? So everybody have the link? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So let's talk about some of the different idioms here. I've got one for us. Let's talk about what it means. The skin of your teeth. Have we read this one before? No. I don't no. think we did, right? The skin oh. of what? <laughs> the skin of your teeth. Never heard before. No. Okay. So what do you, it sounds creepy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit sure. weird, right? Yeah, a little creepy. What do you guys think it might mean before we discuss it? What do you think it might mean? It's I don't want you to read ahead. Don't read ahead. Let's talk talk about it together. What do you think? What's that? It's like Don't see. I'm sorry? Sorry? Okay. I didn't. Oh, to I become didn't. involved in something. Okay. Okay. Let, we're gonna, what we're going to do is everybody have it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If everybody has it, this is what we're going to do. We're going to. Okay. If everybody has it, please follow along while we, while we listen to it as a class, okay? You guys, are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it for us, and I want you to follow along so that you're able to read it at the same time. That's gonna help you to learn because you're gonna hear it and you're gonna see it. It's gonna get into your brain faster. It's scientifically wow. proven. All right. So everybody, follow along while I play it. Here we go. Okay. The English we speak. From the BBC. Hi, I'm Yang Li, and welcome to the English We Speak. I'm here today with Jen. Oh, hi. Jen, you look a little flustered. Are you okay? Oh, I woke up late and had to run to the train station. There's only one train an hour. I ran all the way there and made it by the skin of my teeth, just as the doors were closing. Phew, is there any coffee? Hang on, hang on. How did your teeth help you run for the train? Sorry? You said, I made it by the skin of my teeth. I've got to see this. Show me your teeth. When did they grow skin? No, there's no skin on my teeth. That would be disgusting. But, but what did you mean? If you do something by the skin of your teeth, it means that you did it by a narrow margin. So you just managed to do it, or almost failed. I see. So if you got to the train by the skin of your teeth, it means that you nearly missed it. That's exactly right. Let's hear some more examples of the phrase in action. My brother's so lucky. He never does any revision for exams, but always manages to pass by the skin of his teeth. Uh, hi, yeah, I'm stuck in a traffic jam. I might still make the presentation, but it'll be by the skin of my teeth. So when you just manage to do something, you can say you did it by the skin of your teeth? That's it. That's a really funny phrase. I like it. It's good to be able to get your teeth into English phrases like this. My teeth? What about my teeth? It's just another phrase, silly. If you get your teeth into something, it means that you become really involved in it. Well, in that case, I do love getting my teeth into a new phrase. Teeth. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, I've just remembered. I have a dentist appointment at 12 o'clock. Look, it's 10 to 12 now. I will never make it. You go. I'll finish the program. If you run, you might make it, but by the skin of your teeth. Oh, thanks, Jan. Bye. Join us again for another edition of The English We Speak and visit our website, bbclearningenglish.com. Okay. Bye. The English We Speak.
from? Okay, okay. Okay. So, well, that was good. Now, what did you guys learn about this idiom? The skin of your teeth, what does it mean? Uh, to succeed doing something that you barely missed. Okay, good. Yes, other thoughts? It's to manage to do something with a piece of laggy. To manage to do something and be, and be very lucky. Okay, other thoughts? He don't have the skin. Teeth don't have skin. Well, actually, the interesting thing is, is our teeth do have a very, very um, thin skin-like uh, membrane over the teeth, but that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> this isn't science. This is English. <laughs> but um, anyways, you're right. We don't have skin like we have skin on our arms and in our So the idea, again, as Ala mentioned, is what? To succeed doing something you barely missed. Yeah, okay. So Jennifer said, if you do something by the skin of your teeth, it means that you did it by a narrow margin or just barely did it. So you just managed to do it or you almost failed. You almost failed, but you just did it, okay? So what were the examples. There was two examples here. Let's review them together again. What was the first example? Who can read that for us? Martin, the tennis player. The first example, please. For example, for this meaning, yeah, where it says, my brother's so lucky. That example. Can you read that, please? Yes, I have escaped with the skin on my teeth. I'm sorry? Do you have the... I, I have escaped with the skin on my teeth. Okay, now wait a minute. Uh, I don't want I you to you make... think you didn't understand. Yes, I'm going to try to explain it again. Okay, Martin, I want you to read... This first example in what we in the paragraph that I sent you in the outline I sent you. Okay, so it's it starts off. My brother's so lucky. Can you read that, please? Mm, I don't see this article. What kind? Of, yes, I have the link to BBC. And uh, what kind of article is it? Uh, what was the name of this article? <laughs> Who can tell them what the name of the article is? The skin of your teeth. Okay. Uh, August the 28th. There's the link there. Okay. And let's go ahead now to... Okay. Okay. Um, let's go now to Mohammed. Mohammed, can you read the example, please? Yes, yeah, of course. My brother, so lucky, he never does any revision for jump, but we managed to pass by the skin of his teeth. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mohammed. So guys, what is this what does it mean? Can you who explain what what this sentence means is with this idiom? That he almost failed on the revision for the exams, but he but he passed on the Exams. Very good. Good job. Excellent. Okay, let's have the second example read. Who can read that for us? Let's have Diana. Um, hi, I'm stuck in a traffic jam. I might still make it to the presentation, but it will be me by the skin of my teeth. Excellent. This is a good example. Now, what does it mean? So it means that um, um, only fortune or luck can help me to make it for the presentation from the race. Okay, so when it's saying that he's going to make it by the skin of his teeth, uh, sorry, I, I, just, I just didn't hear the, your whole comment, so please excuse me. But if he says he's going to make it by the skin of his teeth, what is he saying he's going to do? 
Um, I think only Locke may, may help me um, to make it for the presentation. He's running late. Okay, bye-bye, Allah. Thanks for coming to the class. I hope to see you again, all right? Take care, Allah. Thank you. Have okay. a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye, Manal. Bye, Okay, good, exactly. So he's going to get to the class. Uh, he's going to get to the presentation, but he might he might be just almost late, but not quite late, right? Mm -hmm. and just get there in time. Okay, perfect. So now that we've done this together, uh, let's try to think of some times when you might use it. So let's let's give you the opportunity to think of some sentences using this idiom, okay? Um, who can think of one? Let's put a junior. Junior, let's have you start. Can you tell me a sentence using this expression? Okay, so I have to to imagine uh, any situation I want. Yeah, any situation you might when you might use this expression. Okay, so I think that you should use like. Can I make uh, an example? Uh, yes, please. So, I think that I would use like uh, I would uh, let me think. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Oh, now I know. Uh, I I think that when I went on exams here in Brazil, I passed on the skin of my teeth to the next level. Okay, good. Exactly. That's excellent. Okay, while uh, Junior was helping us, did anybody else think of another another uh, scenario when you might use this? Uh, oh, no. There is. Oh. May I? Yes, please go ahead, Julio. Uh, there is only the, no. There was only a spot on uh, our hangout, and by the skin of my teeth, I take it. Okay, okay. I like what you thought of there. That was a good one. Now, let's help. I want to help you to, to say it in, in a way that an, an English speaker would say it. And you're on the right track. You'd probably say, I just got into this class, or I got the last spot by the skin of my teeth. Right? Or I okay. just got into this class by the skin of of my you. teeth. You're welcome. You're welcome. Or I grab because there's only nine spots, right? There's only nine spots. So you grab the last spot by the skin of your teeth. Yeah, we had to be careful <laughs> six minutes yeah. earlier. There you go, yeah, exactly. So but if you get the verbling premium then you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Okay, let's go now to, let's see here, Manal, you got an example for me? Yeah, maybe uh, if you are in a fight, if you fighting with somebody, so I said that I got from the fighting by skin my IT, I am not sure. Okay, let's talk, let's talk about this. So do you mean that? You were fighting, and you got away. Yeah. Okay, good. You could say I I got away by the skin of my teeth. Okay. Does everybody know what it means to get away or got away? Yeah, yeah. What does it mean? I don't know how to say. Anyone here can answer? Is to yes, yes. Mm -hmm. To escape? To escape, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's a good, uh, a good synonym. So that, that means that you, you escaped just barely. You escaped or you got away by the skin of your teeth, okay? That's a good example. Um, all right, so does everybody now clearly understand this idiom? Is there anybody that still has a little bit? Not sure? Me. You're a little bit not sure still? 
Okay, Diana, no problem. Um, let's see here. So, who can explain to Diana what this idiom means? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I got it. I just... Um, oh, you do understand? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Now, at the end of the paragraph, or at the end of the script, there was another idiom that came up. Did you guys recognize it? At the uh -huh, very yes, end. Say it again, please. Go ahead, Diana. What was the second idiom at the end of the script? Um, it is get your teeth into something. Right. Okay. To get your teeth into something. What did that mean? Um, to get your teeth into something. To understand something clearly, or to have an insight of something, probably. Okay, okay. Any other thoughts? If you're going to, if you get oh, your right. teeth here, into something. Here it says, it, it means to become involved. <laughs> right, okay. So to get your teeth into something, everybody, is to become involved in something. Really but involved. But it's the same as get into without the the teeth like I'm into something or no. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm really into music or I'm into computers uh, or whatever. So I'm can I say I get my teeth into music? By definition, yes, you could. However, it's not it's not usually used that way. Although, by definition, you could say that. You'd probably say, I'm really, in, I'm really into music. But that's Tiago. Tiago's into music. How you doing, Tiago? Um, I just wanted to make sure I know uh, to be into right. Like, if I say I'm into music, doesn't that mean that I like music instead of being involved in music? That's right. Yeah, that's the idea, right? Although, um, if you say I'm into music, that means you really, you really like it. Uh, being involved is slightly different. Is if you're making music, then you're more involved in music. So, so, that's, so that's a good thought. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, when I say I got my teeth into music. It, it means um, I started performing or something, right? I suppose it would have more of that meaning. You're you're right. I'm glad that you brought that. I didn't really think of it that way. So that's very observant. But uh, what she's, what Diana is saying is true. This is becoming more involved with something, like perhaps a project at, at school or at work. Uh, if you sink your teeth into it, it means you get really involved into the project. So don't use it with things like uh, music or your hobbies, but more about like projects and I mean, some projects are are our hobbies, like making a puzzle. You could really sink your teeth into a puzzle, right? Okay, thank you. You guys know what a puzzle is? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Rompe de cabeza, right? Okay, so that was good. Now, can we think of a time when we might use this? Tell me, please, uh, Manal, what's something that you really like to sink your teeth into? Uh. I'm not sure. And don't say don't say an apple. Don't say what? An apple. <laughs> an apple. Yeah, no, I will say. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't have one. Okay, we're gonna let, we're gonna come back to you. We're gonna come back to you. So think about one, okay? Let's go to Junior. What do you like to sit, get your teeth into, Junior? I think I'm I I'm getting my teeth into English because I'm really doing hard work to to uh, improve my accent and to get better in English. All right, I like that. That's a good one. Like I like it when I hear my students say that they're 
they really enjoy learning English. And you're doing very well. Okay, Thank good. You. Julio, do you got an example? Mm, not that why. Uh, there is a lot of lag in, in my connection. Oh, you can't hear the greatest. Okay, no problem. That's okay. Uh, Ismael, can you think of an example? What do you like? What do you like to get your teeth into? Pizza. That's exactly right, Martin. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. With a special focus, or to become very involved. Mm -hmm. Good. Ismael, can you think of an example? Okay, no problem. Let's go back to Manal. She had a chance now to think about one. You got one, Manal? Yeah. Can, can we say that um, for a crime or something that I like it? Crime? Yeah, because in Bologna it may have. I'm not sure if I'm following you. You, you want to put sink your teeth into crime? I mean, uh, no, I don't want to put my teeth into crime. Are you, uh, are, Manal, are you a criminal? <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit. You can say that, so watch out. Okay. So, sorry, I'm sorry, what was your question? <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to change it, okay. No, okay, uh, I just like... I just well, I, I had an opportunity to uh, tell uh, make a joke, so I took it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can I say that? Um, uh, oh my God. I that I have been involved in a a, a, a crime. I, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. I understand. Um, if you're involved in a crime, then that's a little bit different than this idea here. This is to become like. Um, something let's you like here. it. Something that you just that you just like. We have another expression. And you jump. Sorry, there's a car alarm going off. Um, I think the Dominican Republic is maybe the noisiest country in the world. Okay. Uh, the you found the Dominic Republic. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, my curiosity. Yeah. So, anyways, the the other class told me that my noise canceling mic was not working. So I've had to put it on my secondary mic, but it doesn't cancel out the noise. So unfortunately, you guys get to hear the the car alarms. But anyway, um, as I was saying, this doesn't really it doesn't really carry that idea with it. This is yeah. more about like if if. If you were given an assignment at work, a special project, now some people, they take the project and they go, eh, you know, I'm not getting any extra money for this, I'll just put it over there and leave it. Uh, and then some people say, oh, here's a special project, I'm really going to do my best to do a good job and I want to make my boss happy. Now they are the ones that sink their teeth into it, okay? Yeah, so I have one, maybe I'm going to say that I get my team into a Zumba. Zumba? Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You like to work out? Yeah. Where are I you mean, at again? Where are you at in the world? Sorry? You're, where are you again in the world? Uh, Oman. Sorry? It's in, in in the Arab Gulf country. It's one right. of the Arab Gulf. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. But I didn't realize that Zumba made it all the way over to the Middle East. So that's great. Yeah. That's excellent. Good for you. I like Sorry, Zumba. Sorry, what? It's Zumba. What? Yeah, Zumba. It's, it's a workout. You can you can Google it. Okay. Google it. Google Google, <laughs> Google it's, it. it's like... Okay. It's for dancing. The yeah, I just like dancing. Okay, dancing and working out go hand in hand. This is the table for the woman. Oh. 
It's not only for women. Hey, you'll be a better ten. You'll be a better tennis player if you go to Zumba. <laughs> it's like a I never dance? heard about it, but it sounds like very famous around the world. Yeah, it's very big because I didn't realize it's big in the United States, in Canada. I didn't realize it had made it all the way around the world. So that's great. Okay, so um, we're gonna finish up with this one. We're gonna go now to another story, and this time I'm gonna let you guys choose. So, what is an idiom that you would like to learn about from the page? If you go back one, I'll put it in the chat box, and there's the link, and you can you guys can choose one. I, I do, I have a, a curiosity about to go bananas. Okay, to go bananas. Anybody else? I, I think I this would, title is fun. Um, would, you, would you guys like to learn about going bananas? Actually, I know going bananas, so I would like to explore No Swings Attached because I've watched the movie. Which one? No Swings Attached. No Swings Attached. Okay, I'll tell you what. If you can, if you can properly explain to Junior what to go bananas means and then we'll do we'll do yours, okay? Okay, um so if I'm not mistaken, go banana means go crazy, go nuts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really? It's just yeah. I was <laughs> I was I, I wondering even know a song what? about this. It's like um peel banana, peel peel banana, go banana, go go banana. <laughs> You're right. Okay, she's right. She's right. To go bananas means to go a little bit crazy. Un poco loco. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are you okay. monkey? I thought, I thought it would be like a strange word or a strange phrase, but it's simple, in fact. Yeah. But that's a good story. I think maybe we'll do that one in the next class. That's, it's a funny one. Okay. So because you answered correctly, you get... Drum roll to pick the one that you want. Which is the one? No strings attached. What's the date? May 1st, right? Yeah. All right, I found it. No strings attached, everybody. I'm going to put it in the chat box. There you go. Oh, wait a minute. We can't do this one because uh, we did this one already. What? Sorry? Uh, I did this one in my last class. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I will so, favorite this page so I can check later. Um, yes. Diana? Can it be... Can um, you, choose, you choose another one? I'm sorry. Just a second. Um, can it be language as a block sphere? Or it's obvious? Is it where... It, uh, can, can I understand this literally? Uh, you know what? I don't even know that one, so we're learning it together. <laughs> Teacher, could you could I make a suggestion? Sure. What do you want? I want you to say for for us what's the most c common uh, uh, word or expression around this, and then teach us. That's a good one idea. That because there are a lot of things in English that I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Does everybody else agree? Uh, may I? Yes, would you like to say? Uh, I think it is when a, a, a person gives you a present, like a surprise, and you all <laughs> Uh, it's very awesome, uh, and you can't say anything be because the, you are nervous or something like that. Uh, sorry, and that was pertaining to what? Bye, Mohammed. Thanks for coming to the class. I'll see you again soon, okay? Take care, Mohammed. Okay. Bye-bye. Um, Julio, uh, thank you for your comment. Now, what was your comment in reference to? Can you repeat, please? I said thank you for your comment. What was your comment in reference to? 
Was it in reference to one of these idioms? Ah, okay. I, I think I have a, a lot of, of lag. Uh, I was commenting no strings attached. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, no strings Sorry. attached is like no commitment. Yeah, no, that's okay. That's okay. All right. I, I'm going to choose one that I, that I believe is very popular and that you guys should learn. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to choose this one here. Don't get me wrong. Okay? January 31st, 2012. Don't get me wrong. Do you guys know what it is? I do. No. Is there any song with this title? You know what? It wouldn't no. surprise me. Ca a cardigan song, maybe? It would not surprise me. I don't know. I can't think of one at the moment, but. Oh, I right. think I know. Okay. Uh, does everybody don't have get it? Me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's like, don't think the the, don't like. Let me think. Another rage say that. Mm, don't understand me wrong or something like that. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, good guess. Let's take a look at the script together now. This time we're not going to listen to the script. This time you guys are going to act it out. Okay. So let's. This time we'll have Diana. You can be Lee. Mm -hmm. And let's have hmm, let's have Junior. You can be Neil, okay? Okay, can be. <laughs> um, right. I'm sorry, just one question. Is this meow me? Yeah, like a cat. <laughs> you don't have you don't have to do the meow. I'll do the meow. I'll do the meow. <laughs> I love cats. You wanna do the meow? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, is it gonna is it gonna be a Spanish meow or an English meow? Um, it's gonna be Armenian meow. <laughs> oh, Armenian. Okay, so I thought you said you're from Argentina. Oh no, I'm from oh, Armenia. Okay. Oh, Armenia. I thought you said Argentina. Okay, sorry. All right, Armenian. No, wait a minute. This is English class. You can't have an Armenian meow. It has to be an English meow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead when you're ready, guys. Uh huh. Okay. Hello, I'm Lee, and joining me today is Neil. Hello, Neil. Meow. <laughs> Hello. Meow. Is this is this is there a cat in the basket that you are holding? It's my adorable cat, Spencer. Oh, Spencer! Can I see him? Of course. Ow. <laughs> What do you mean, Erg? Um, that's not a cat. It's kind of a frog chicken. Ow. Uh, it's it doesn't have any it fur. Doesn't have a fur. fur. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Spencer certainly is a cat. He's Sphinx cat. They don't have any fur. You don't like him, do you? No, no, don't get me wrong. He's just a bit surprising. Ow. Don't, <laughs> don't get me wrong. That's an expression uh, you use when you're worried someone might not understand what you say or be upset by it. When I said Mayor's cat looked like a frog chicken, I didn't mean that I didn't like him. I just meant he was a bit unusual. Uh, here are some more examples. Uh, am I reading the example? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's have a break, and we'll have Manal read us the examples. Okay. Manal. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I do like James. I think he can be a bit annoying sometimes. Yeah, all three. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh. Don't get me wrong. I would love to come to your party, but I'm busy tonight. That coat is very bright. Okay. But don't get me wrong. I still think you should wear it.
That's it. Neil. Okay. Uh, well, I think Spencer is a beautiful cat. Wow. <laughs> and don't get me and don't get me wrong, but you don't know much about cats, do you? Yes, I do. I have a, a Nor. How to pronounce this word? Norwegian. 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 Norwegian forest cat, and she is very beautiful with lots of fur. But Spencer is very strange. Wow. Uh, a kind of friendly, friendly. <laughs> and not very gremlin, friendly. gremlin. That's a gremlin. Gremlin and and gremlin. not very friendly. Hello, who's the cat? Right. Yeah, who's the cat? <laughs> I guess I'll have a cartoon. Okay, meow, don't get me wrong, I'm, all, <laughs> I'm only being friendly. That, that is a lie. Get off me, your vicious grandmother. <laughs> get off, get off. There's, there's a picture of a gremlin there if you want to find out what a gremlin is, okay? Oh, All I right, good there, job. There is uh, a gremlin in, in a movie. I don't remember what movie it is. Well, there's a movie called Gremlins. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, the movie's called Gremlin. There's a pic if you click on the link, you'll see a picture. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. good. Okay. Julio, are you there, Julio? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Julio, uh, now that we've read the explanation, can you clearly tell the class what it means if I say don't get grown? Uh, don't get grown is when uh, you say something but you have a little of gesture about it but you still think the same thing. Okay, good, thank you. And uh, you notice what Lee said, if you go down to the, in the page there, Lee says don't get me wrong and then what's her explanation? Um, Martin, are you there? Yes, I am here. Could you read the explanation that Lee gives us? It's on the screen, if you'd like. Uh, yes, don't get me wrong, that's an expression you use when you are worried someone might not understand what you say or be upset by it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Thank so you say it. What's that, Martin? Uh, the next, uh, I would like to read uh, the old paragraph. Oh, we've read that paragraph already, but I'll tell you what, I'll give you the next next time to read, you can read, okay? Okay. Is that okay for you? Yeah, no, okay, come on. Okay, we're going to read another one here pretty quick. So, let's have a couple of examples then, a couple of examples of when you may say this. Let's have, Martin, can you think of an example? Don't get me wrong, uh, I I don't want to go to the party because I don't like someone who is involved of this party. That's excellent. That's a very good example. Thank you. Uh, Julio, can you think of an example? You're welcome. Mm. Yeah, I like the, the red car, but don't get me wrong, I want to buy the blue one. Okay, good, good. Excellent. So I'm going to have Chinese with cat tooth hat on my hand. <laughs> okay. Now did everybody see the picture of the gremlin? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of a scary looking thing, isn't it? Uh -huh. Imagine no, somebody it's cute monster of the cat. <laughs> cute, yeah. Imagine telling somebody their cat looked like a gremlin. <laughs> okay. Is there any questions? About the about this uh, about this phrase then? No, it's easy for me. It's an easy one, right? Okay, good. Now we're going to go back and we're going to choose another one. We have enough time to do one more. So I have, I have a random one for asking you, teacher. I saw in the internet it 
uh, an expression called a fight fire with fire, something okay. like that. I don't remember. Yes. But no, what no, no. does it mean when you? It means if somebody does something bad to you, you do the same thing back to them. Like when you pay with when you pay with the same. With how do I, it? Do I say that? Let me check. Uh, there, there is another expression like to pay with the same coin something like yeah. that yeah that's right that's right same idea to fight fire with fire mm. is uh, if somebody um, starts to play dirty or do something bad then you do it back to them okay, um, okay. Yeah, there is Thank the you. equivalent for this in Russian and Armenian like fighting tooth, tooth for tooth blood for blood okay yeah tooth for tooth eye for eye all right, so that's a similar idea there. Um, I personally don't prescribe to that theory, but that's what some people live by that model. Okay, so anyways, let's go to the link in the box. I've posted it there, and this is the next one we're going to do. And we don't have a lot of time, so we want to just move along quickly here. All right, we're going to have Martin read uh, the story for, or the script for us. He's going to be Neil. And hopefully it can be Helen, okay? Okay. And the expression here is sheepish. Sheepish. Okay, go ahead, Martin. Uh, I will Neil, okay? Please. Hi, I am Neil, and this is Helen. Uh, I can't read it, please. It's, it's... I put it in the, I put it in the box. Dying. Yeah, I'll make it bigger too if you want. Okay. Helen, hello. What's wrong, Helen? You are looking uh, rather sheepish. Sheepish? Like a sheep? I know my younger no, no, no. is quite okay. sheepish. 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 Like sheep. Animal. Yeah, like the animal. Right. Okay. Continue, please, Julio. Start again. That's okay. Sheepish? Like a sheep? I know my jumper is quite bully. Uh, I don't mean you look like a sheep. I mean you look sheepish, which is quite different. Of course. Looking like a sheep and looking sheepish are two totally different things, obviously. To look cheapest means to look embarrassed or ashamed that you have done something wrong or silly. No, excuse me, like you have done something wrong or silly? Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, listen to some examples. Uh, Tom walks into the room looking cheapish. Emily Green briefly has to close the door behind her. And you have heard a sheepish book. Oh, come on, Helen. Why are you looking sheepish today? Oh, why? Yes? Well, do you know that book you lent me? Uh, my favorite book of all time. The original edition of the private life of the greatest guest in history. Yes. Okay, Helen, now you are looking very sheepish in this so you could better hurry up and tell me what happened to it. I drop it. Drop it? Well, I hope it is not damaged, otherwise I will the hell too. In the river. The river? You drop it in the river? <laughs> it was quite the way I could get it out. Oh no. I'm so sorry. That's why I'm looking sheepish. You shouldn't be looking even more sheepish <laughs> than that. In, the, in fact, I expect you to look sheepish for several days. It was the best book in the world. What? It doesn't do justice. 
Ok, finish, ¿no? Perdón. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, really nicely done, you guys. Very, very good job. Now, just wanted to help you with our pronunciation, Julio. Okay. Yes. Uh, the, the word that we were discussing is has the SH at the beginning and the end, so it's a little bit difficult to pronounce. But the SH makes a shh sound, like shh, be quiet. Shh, shh. Oh, so, okay. okay, so you want to say sheepish, sheepish. Try that again. Sheepish. 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 Okay, good. Now the double E, when you see two E's, you gotta go E, E. Try that. E, e sheep. Good. Is. Yes, sheep ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more time, sheep ish. Sheep is. Okay, good. Now, there is the. Oh, I didn't put a space there. Sheepish is an adjective. And from the dictionary, what does sheepish mean, Manal? Yeah, it's something that in passing or yeah. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, it's come from shame or a lack of self-confidence. Right, right, okay, good. She likes to have to go like that, but she. <laughs> so that's obviously human. Now, sometimes people are just sheepish about certain things. Maybe they're very confident in some parts of their life, but in other parts of their life, they're sheepish. So let's get an example now. What is an example of sometimes what people are sheepish about? Uh, let's start with Diane. Diana, I'm sure your comment was excellent. Unfortunately, I didn't hear any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I really am sorry. But I think maybe the microphone is a bit muffled and I didn't hear it. I do apologize. Um, what was it regarding? Can you say it again, please? Your excellent comment. Could you say it one more time? No. Okay. Don't be don't be sheepish. Don't be sheepish, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> the family has a, a lot of uh, choice. Yeah, Martin. What are, what, what's something people are sheepish about? Mm, if uh, I do not, uh, if I don't know any solution of the problem solved or or something, if I mm -hmm. if I refuse to, uh, of something, of, uh, if you have uh, a lot of choice or something, and you don't. Uh, what sort of this choice is the uh, right for you, I think. Okay, okay. So if you don't, if you don't know something then, and somebody's asking you a question about something, sometimes you could be a bit sheepish because you don't really know the answer, right? Yeah. All right what about Julio? Uh, do you want me to make an example? Uh, tell me something that people are sheepish about. Uh, when some someone has a meeting, uh, a, a business meeting, for example, and and they forget it. Uh -huh, that's a good example. Then they feel a little bit embarrassed and a bit sheepish. Right? Okay. What about if a husband was to forget his wife's anniver uh, their anniversary? Oh, he'd be pretty sheepish then, right? <laughs> 
Manal would Manal would have some words. Yeah, maybe if I forget to uh, prepare my uh, what? Oh my gosh, the word. Mm, yeah, my presentation. I forget to prepare my mm -hmm. presentation. Okay. So I let keep it. Okay, so if your boss said, where's the presentation? And you're like, oh, oh, I forgot. You'd be pretty sheepish, right? Yeah. That's true. Good, good thought. Okay, Junior, what do you think? I know a good example, but I think that Britney Spears must be sheepish if today if she see the news about when she go with the rest without underwear in a party. Okay. <laughs> I never I never saw that news, but yeah, that would probably make her sheepish. Definitely. Yeah, the, this news uh is is very famous. Oh, it is. Okay. I I somehow missed that. <laughs> um but yeah, you're right. Sometimes when something embarrassing happens to us, and we've all been in an embarrassing moments, then we, we feel sheepish, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. Good stuff. Um, all right, are there any questions about sheepish? No. No clear. questions? Everybody's clear with it? Okay. So today we looked, at, uh, we looked at about five idioms, didn't we? We looked at sheepish. We looked at confidence. Uh, we looked at, what were some of the other ones? Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. What were some of the other ones? <laughs> Go bananas. Go bananas, yeah, good. We got that one. Mm -hmm. Get your teeth into. Uh-huh, get your teeth into something. And the last one? Sheepish. Yeah, we've got sheepish, bananas. Don't get hey, me wrong. I can't remember. <laughs> get your teeth into something and... By the skin, by the skin of your teeth, right? Oh, yes. So we learned five. Look at you guys already forgot them. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> I know, but this is what happens. You see, it's tough. It's tough to uh, remember them. So here's here's the thing. You need to go out of this classroom, and you need to go and practice using these with your friends or whatever. Even if you just choose one or two of the five. Use it at least four or five, six times today and tomorrow and the next day. Otherwise, you'll forget and then the whole hour was wasted, right? We don't want that. Okay. So remember at least one or two of them. Choose your favorite and use it, use it, use it so that it gets into your brain and you don't forget. Okay, guys? Okay. Right. All right. That's the idea. Good stuff. We will see you guys uh, later in the week and have a great rest of the Sunday night and we'll see you guys soon, okay? Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Okay, take Bye. care. You're welcome, everybody. Thank you, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night.